We are closely watching that yield curve. Did see another brief inversion there. That is what some people are worried about when you're talking about this recession talk, when the 10-year yield falls below the two-year Treasury yield. It's upside down. It has preceded all of the post-war recessions. It's not always the best indicator that signals an imminent recession. So there's a lot of debate about it right now and what it could signal. But investors pay attention to it. And we're all paying attention to it. And Charlie Bobrinska is hiding under the desk. He's so scared about what it means. I think we really should be precise about this. People should make a prediction and say, do they think there's a 50 percent chance that we're going to have a recession in the next 12 months? I would say there's less than a 20 percent chance that we're going to have a recession in the next 12 months. Is there a chance we're going to have one in the next five years? Obviously. But uh, this... In I use the word imminent. I said it doesn't right. necessarily signal an imminent. And it could also just signal there's plenty of demand out there for U.S. debt. We're the highest yielders well, in the world. That's a key part of it. And, and, the, and, you know, the market's been pushing the Fed to do more, to ease policy. We're still, we're still tracking, what, 2% GDP growth in this right. country at least. Right. All right.